Good morning from near Stockholm, Sweden. We are about to leave for Riga, Latvia. <laughs> Breakfast of Champions. Ready to go? Let's go. I'm gonna eat a chocolate muffin. Do I need this plate? I don't know. I think it might be crumbling. This is definitely a dessert. It's gonna wake you up here. This looks so good. That's really good. This is literally just like a cake. <laughs> from the airport, and now we're walking from the bus stop. We made it to our Airbnb, here it is. Take a look around. How much did this place cost tonight? Well, for two nights, it was like 100, just about 100 Canadian dollars. So pretty cheap, so about 50 bucks a night for this Airbnb, very centrally located here in downtown Riga. We're super close to the Riga Cathedral, and it sounds like there's lots of good, yeah, there. It sounds like there's lots of good uh, restaurants around here. Our host was very friendly. He talked to us about Canadian hockey. Let's have a look at the view. We're about to leave our Airbnb. Check out the stairs that we need to go up and down. cost less than three euros, so now we're living. I feel like when we were in Sweden, everything cost a million dollars. So we just went inside this really beautiful old church. I don't know the name of it right now. Maybe I'll look it up later and tell you. <laughs> I don't know if it's really known as like a tourist destination because a lot of the people in there seem to actually be there to light candles and pray and stuff, but it's beautiful inside. You're not allowed any cameras in there, so I didn't get any footage, but there's lovely, like huge um, murals, I guess. Yeah. Um, and painting on the ceiling that's just really beautiful. And like the gold uh, domes on the roofs are really cool, which you can see from the outside.
So we're about two thirds through the war museum and it's very interesting. There's a lot of stuff that we're learning about Latvia that we never knew before. Um, but I do kind of feel like the jet lag is catching up to me because I feel pretty tired. I think also part of it is that we woke up at like 6 a.m. today and it's still, I was, but then that's midnight at home so just in general my circadian rhythm is very screwed up. That's what it's called, right? Mm -hmm. Circa is Latin for approximately a DM day. So it's about a day. Your rhythm. Yeah. Wow, learning more facts than just the history of, of Latvia and the wars they participated in. We're here at the Three Brothers. It's just three buildings side by side that represent some of the typical architecture uh, of old Riga. The building on the right is the oldest brother and it was built in 1490. Um, during this time there's a lot of manufacturing and trade going on with Dutch merchants. The middle brother is and really typical of a dwelling from the 17th century. Inscribed above the door, it says glory to God in Latin. The youngest or the newest house is on the left. It's built during the second half of the 17th century. One interesting fact about the youngest brother is there is a, a face or a mask above the door, which according to its owners, protects the inhabitants from evil spirits. just here finishing up editing this video it is super cold in here so I'm like really bundled up and uh, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it we've had a really great first day in Riga and tomorrow there is so much more to come we're gonna be going on a walking tour of the old part of town so I'm sure we'll get way more information and cool stories to tell about that tomorrow. If you don't want to miss out on that, then make sure you hit the subscribe button right there. Just click the circle with my face in it and press subscribe. And while you're at it, check out yesterday's video from when we landed in Sweden and our whole journey to Europe for this trip. As always, I love you all. I hope you're following your dreams and I will see you in the next one. Bye.